I don't blame my local OTS. Hell, I don't even know if I blame Konami. But damn it, I need to get this off my chest. The weekend of March 5th through 6th was the OTS Championships, an event in which if you top, you earn your invite to this year's North American World Championship qualifier. Well, guess what my happy ass did? I bought $132.30 worth of cards just to show up to my OTS for the usual 1 p.m. Yu-Gi-Oh time, thinking that's when the championship tournament would start, just to find out that per Konami policy, the OTS Championships start at 11 a.m. Konami, you say on your site to check with your OTS on times. Why is the bill falling to you all of a sudden? Maybe the employee was ill-informed. Maybe that's what Konami told them. Regardless, luckily this employee was nice enough to give me a refund for the cards I ordered since I ordered them to play in the tournament. I was pissed. I wasted my time driving 45 minutes over there and made $33 off of my buy list that I had submitted beforehand. However, in a time where here in Florida, premium gas is damn near $5 a gallon, I drive a Dodge Challenger that has 500 horsepower and guzzles gas quicker than Grand Maj who guzzles up attack points from banished cards. I genuinely am at a point where I plan on going to a regional in May and then quitting the game forever. I've been playing competitively since 2008 and casually since the game was released. Between this drama and my cancer treatments, you can look back at my update video for information on that, link is in the description, and feeling defeated at this depressing reality that I just got fucked over after over a week of playtesting and making changes to my deck, I don't know what to do anymore. I love making videos, I love my local Yu-Gi-Oh community, for the most part. But after the shit show that was yesterday, I left every single Yu-Gi-Oh group I'm in on Facebook. Fuck Zodiac Duelist, fuck Yu-Gi-Oh Black Market, fuck it all. I don't want any part of the bullshit anymore. And I'm not saying all this because I want sympathy or wanting to have a pity party. I say all this because for someone like me who feels like they have hit rock bottom, bullshit like this out of left field destroys me inside. I'm on medical leave for my job, I barely have any income, and for all I know, my cancer is spreading and the medicine isn't helping. At the same time, I needed to say this. It was therapeutic. It was much needed. And I hope you can learn from my mistakes. I want nothing more in the world than to inspire others, whether it's a channel with 7 subs or 1,000 subs. I want you to watch my videos and have a better day because of it. Yeah, and some videos were more edgy than in others. It's called having a persona and wanting to entertain. But at the end of the day, if I can make your day just a little bit better, then I've done my job. Now what you just heard was the script I wrote after getting home from that disaster of a day. I've had a couple days to cool off and I'm nowhere near as pissed. However, I would like to point out that my OTS store had nothing on their site or Facebook page related to when the tournament would start and Konami had nothing on their website. Konami, I say this as a way that I hope you can improve things in the future. Yeah, on this channel we talk a lot of smack, but I talk smack because I've been playing this game for nearly 20 years and couldn't imagine my life without it. I want to see the game improve and I want to see it be here for another 20 years. And if I can entertain you, the viewer of this video in the process, then that's even better. And no, I didn't think to call my OTS in case you ask. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.